Hey folks, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook, and today we're talking about how to create infographics using Google Drawings. And I was just working on this infographic and thought I'd let you pop in here and check it out and just kind of see how everything looks. So, um, so over here on the screen, this is just a basic Google Drawing. You can just go to your Google Drive and go to hit the new button and move over on the more over to where it says Google Drawings. You can also go to drawings.google.com. Uh, note that there is no, there's currently no app for Google Drawings for the iPad. So if you want to do something like this on the iPad, you can always just use a, a Google slide presentation. Just make it a one slide slide presentation and that would work. Okay, so once you've got your Google Drawing up, this is the kind of thing that, that we can do pretty easily with Google Drawings. And so all I've done here is I just created this drawing. We've got the header up here. And so this is actually two text boxes. I wanted to be able to change the space in between them and make that just the way that I wanted. And so I put made these into two so that I could kind of squish them together a little bit more, kind of like this, only not quite that far. Um, this line right here, some you can do real basic lines with Google Drawings, and you can even change the ends. In fact, it would have just been easier to do this, but <laughs> hey, I, I did went a little extra here. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see that the ends of these I made into little squares. You can get kind of fancy with these if you want and add extra little things to it. Okay, so anyway, we've got that. And then down here is kind of the meat and potatoes of my, my infographic. And so I pulled all of these um, images in, these little icons, from this site that I absolutely love, and it's called The Noun Project at thenounproject.com. And so one of these, let me switch back over real quick, uh, like the flexible seating one. All I did was I searched for seating. And right off the bat, there's that first one that showed up right there. Now the great thing about the Noun Project, if you decide you want to use this, again it's at thenounproject.com, is you click on the one that you want to use and you hit download. You do have to have an account and be logged in and all that good stuff. But once I choose that I want it to be a PNG file, that's just a, a simple image file. You got a couple of options on most of them. Some of them are what's called public domain and you can just use them and there's no attribution necessary. But if we want to use the Creative Commons version, we have to give attribution, which means we have to say who it is that created the icon, that kind of thing. And so, um, or we can do royalty free where we actually pay. See right here, you can pay $2 to use this icon without, um, without actually doing any attribution. I'd rather just use it for free and, and give some attribution. So. Um, I'll click this one right here and it'll download. It'll be right down here below. Um, and then it says how I'm supposed to give proper credit. And so all I've done is I've come over here and I've made a little text box down here in the corner and it says icons via and then I've got the names of all of the people who made all of these icons here and at the end I'll say, actually I'll probably change this to say icons by and then I'll use the word via, via the noun project. And then once I've got that in there, that's my attribution. And so this is this is just kind of how, how it works for me. Um, I, I like to use the sim similar fonts kind of all throughout. So this, this one right here is called Luckiest Guy. It's one of the Google fonts, uh, one of my favorites. And then, so that's kind of like my big, bold uh, headline type font. And then the text font that I like to use, or in this case I'm using, is called Railway. And so I've used Railway here, I've used Luckiest Guy here, here, and here. I use lots of different fonts on this one kind of on purpose. And then, so I'm kind of keeping the, the fonts similar. I don't want like a million different fonts just to kind of give it a uniform look all throughout. And then I'll, I'll even use the same size. So this is size 12. And I've tried to keep most of them two lines. This one was a little bit long and went to three lines. But I think the more that you can do that's similar and uniform all throughout, the better your infographic is going to look. And then what I'll do once I get done is I'll just take all of these text boxes and these icons and I'll move them around and arrange them so that they look good inside of the space. Then I'll have a little bit of extra space over here. 
And so anyway, these are the kinds of things that I think we can do to make these infographics and to make them neat. And then of course what we could do is we could take something like this and we could get rid of, you know, we could use the crop button here, get rid of the little pound sign there. And see, look, now we've just got a person. Now you could obviously copy and paste this over and over and over again. If you wanted to show that out of 100 people, 12 of them made this decision. We make the, we copy this. I know that this sounds like a lot of work, but we copy this 100 times, and then we change 12 of them to the color red, and then that would make a really neat graphical representation of a statistic. So just lots of little things that we can do like that, I think. Um, so Google Drawings is a really nice tool to be able to do this. Um, this one right here, if you want to change the size of your Google Drawing, you just go to File and Page Setup. This says standard 4.3. That's a standard slide size for presentation slides. But of course, you can change it to any of these, or you can even change it to a custom size. So if you wanted to make it like an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, or if you wanted to make it kind of tall, like a lot of those Pinterest graphics can be, that's the easy way to do that. So um, the only other thing I would suggest is if you want to move things around, See, if I click on this icon and I push up and down, it does it in big jumps. But if I hold the shift button down while I move it, it'll let me kind of nudge. Um, so that's, that's one other thing that I've done, like this text box needs to go up just a little bit. So I'm holding in the shift bar, or the shift button while I move that around. So just a couple little things that can make that easier. So um, then once you're done, of course, you go to File, Download As, and you can download it as a PDF if you want to. I'd say probably a JPEG image, having a picture file is probably a good way to go. And that's it. And that's, those are kind of the nuts and bolts of how you can make a, an infographic in Google Drawing. So I hope this is useful, and I'll see you on the next video.